Hey guys, Megan here with Beautiful by Megan Horst, and with the holiday season approaching, I'm hoping to bring you some videos that are going to get you re-inspired with makeup and help you to put your best foot forward. Here we go. So for this first video, I'm going to show you just an updated version of my daily makeup routine. Next up, I'm going to be using my foundation. You can use your fingers if you'd like to warm it up. Start in the areas of your face, towards the center, or where you feel that you need the most coverage. And don't start with a lot of product. Just start with a little bit. And you can always build from there. If you are doing um, heavy eye or a smoky eye or something that's going to require um, a lot of cleanup, you definitely probably want to keep your foundation to the last step that you do. But if you're using cream eyeshadows and not powders, or you're doing a light natural eye, you can get away with doing your foundation first. Just because you have to worry about the fallout under your eyes when it comes to um, using a lot of color. So um, I'm going to try to avoid my eyebrow area because I have fresh off the press microbladed eyebrows and I don't want any makeup to touch them. So they're a little dark right now and angry, just because it's day two. That's why they seem a little bit darker than usual for me. Okay, so I have a nice, and I, on some foundations I definitely use a primer, but with this particular one, I've been able to get away without using a primer. So nice, gentle, soft strokes just to kind of rub it in. And if you'd like, just to really um, not have any trace of foundation, you can just take your take a nice brush. This is the uh, Sigma Flat Kabuki F80, and you just kind of lightly buff it in, just to kind of get rid of that foundation look. And you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm probably in fast-forward buffing it in, but I just want to kind of show you guys. Next, what I would like to do usually is a little bit of concealer. So, when there's darkness around the corners of your eyes, which most of us have blue or like a reddish or purple, you use more of a peach. Do you see that peachy color I'm using? And that's going to cancel out any of that blue. So, I like to get the product on there and just kind of push it in with my fingers. Just like tap motions. I'm not wiping, I'm tapping. And then I'm also... The heat from your fingers really helps to, to get the makeup in there and work with it. Again, you don't want to start out with a lot of product. You want to keep it kind of light. And then I like to mix the lighter one with the peach one right in the corners there just to kind of bring up. So you're supposed to use more of the peach in the center um, or whatever uh, corrector you have that you need for your skin tone and then the lighter color on the other side to kind of lift your eye and bring it up. So I like to mix the light with the peach. Um, and you can use the concealers that you have to kind of play around with it. I have probably 20 different concealers in my um, kit that I love to use on different days or different times of the year just depending on how oily or how dry my skin is you'll find that one day you'll love a product the next day you'll feel like you need something a little different so um, it's nice to keep like a wardrobe of different um, varieties of textures that you can work with okay so that's that then what I like to do is use a highlighter if you don't feel like you need highlighter, you can skip this part. I like to use the brush with the foundation on it that I had and just kind of go over the cheekbones there. This kind of gives a luminosity back to the face after the um, foundation has kind of made everything one tone. This kind of brings that dimension back to your face. Go over your nose a little bit, a little bit on the top of the lip. And I always like to put some right in the middle of the collarbone. Next I'm going to curl the eyelashes. 
This is in the order that works for me. Uh, you can do what works for you. There are really no rules to this. So I'm clamping at the root and I'm pulling it out a little bit, giving it another squeeze, pulling it out, giving it another squeeze. Eyeshadows next. You could use um, whatever you like, a cream or powder. I've been using um, just like a nice neutral palette and um, it's been working really well for me. So it's a nice little flat brush like this. It's got a little poofiness to it, but it's mostly flat. I just kind of tap the product, the product in. Now if you're, um, what I always like to do is take the brush and pat it in, pat the product in on my hand so you don't get a lot just coming out underneath your eye. So once the product's in the brush, you just tap it on your lid. And this is like a very neutral, um, like a creamy pink almost, and um, I find it's just super wearable. So find the shade that is most wearable for you and, um, and go with it. So I'm going to use the lighter of the um, like uh, Topi Browns. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of definition in here. So I'm not going up here, I'm just going in that crease, right in there. And I'm not going any further than the middle of my eye. And I'm not sure, I know you guys can't see, but I'm, I'm definitely patting the product in the brush so that I don't have a ton of fallout. Because the minute you have product that falls out under here, you gotta do all that over again because then you're just gonna have dark weirdness under your eye. And you don't want to go any lower so if there was an imaginary line that went from the corner of your eye to the top of your eyebrow, you want to stay above that line because the minute you go below that line, you're pulling your eyes down. And my pressure is so light right now. I'm not like flinging the product everywhere. I'm going, I'm being very light about it. And I'm doing like an imaginary line right there to there. Sometimes um, if you find a color, just kind of like the purple, the perfect taupey, brown um, that goes really well with your skin tone. You can actually use it also for your contour color. So I'm going to take a little bit of it and what I'm going to do is just kind of, if you can see, I'm just going to kind of go in it like this and I'm going to pat it in on my hand and then I'm going to go right below my cheekbone. Not going in any further than here and just kind of and I use I like to use a smaller brush for this. It's not too small, but this, so this is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Concealer Brush, and I don't use it for concealer. I use it for um, contour. So even though brushes say concealer on them, or a lot of times I use concealer brushes for lipstick application, and then you can also use the um, contour in an area down here if you're feeling like you want to um, contour. Give yourself more of a jawline or under here. Some people like to contour their nose in here um, and then some people like to contour in here. If you have a big forehead or areas that you want to create some um, shade, like if you're receding or anything like that, just supposed to bring your face to life too. It's like the imaginary um, three. I'm sure you've heard of it before where you kind of go down here under your cheekbone and then under your jawline. So it makes a big three. I don't love to do a lot of contouring, um, maybe mostly under my cheekbones, but um, you can find what works best for you. I like to go to eyeliner after that. Um, so I've been using a black brown. Um, I feel like black sometimes can be a little too harsh for me um, and black brown is the perfect combination. Uh, a lot of days I love to use purple, like a really beautiful, vibrant plum. That's super fun. Uh, you can totally play with it. Eyeliner is just one of those things where um, you can change it every day and it's just a fun way to bring color in. So I'm going to go in and do the tight line underneath. So I have a mirror, I'm looking down and I'm pulling my eye up and I'm basically using my pencil and 
I'm going in between the lashes. Make sure your pencil is sharpened so that you don't have any jagged edges sticking out that can grab your eyeball because I have scratched my eye before and it is not fun. So I am lifting up, going underneath the tight line and that, I'm not going in the waterline, I'm just going in between the lashes. This looks good on everybody, so if you're going to do one thing with eyeliner, this is the thing to do. See how that just brought brightness to the whites of my eyes, made the color pop, gave my eyes definition. So at this point, I'm looking at my eye and I want to bring the edges of my eyes up. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to point it towards the end of my eyebrow and I'm going to just go down. And I'm looking down in my mirror. So again, I'm using it flat. I'm kind of pointing it to the edge of my eyebrow. And then I'm going down. Do you see how that just brought it up? What I don't want to do is I don't want to go any lower than that line that we've created, that imaginary line that goes from the corner. If I, The minute I go any lower than that, my whole eye is just going to um, look like it's going down. So I want to bring my eyes up. So that's what I'm doing now. If you naturally have eyes that already go up, you don't want to um, accentuate them that much because then it's just going to look like they're going up too much, like too much like this. So. And try to do it without pulling on your eye because it's not going to sit in the right spot once you let go of your skin. If you have hooded eyes, I'm going to have to do a completely different video on how to do it with hooded eyes because it's really hard when you have a lot of skin laying over. But the main thing is you always want to um, stay above that line. So you can see it's going up. So I'm not going to even put any, I'm just going to make sure that the eyeliner is nice and even all the way into the corners, or the tight line. I'm not going to do any more than that. Next what I've been loving to do is use a um, lash conditioner. So I'm going to go in, put a little bit of conditioner on my eyelashes. This has also um, helped to have them grow a little bit, lash extender and conditioner. I love this stuff. So as soon as you get that on, you go back in with your mascara. I've been loving this um, burgundy one. The color is called Burgundy, and it's by L'Oreal. So at this point, I kind of go in and wiggle the brush a little bit. Try to get all those little babies. Do the second eye. I do like to pull the eye up some for this because not too much but a little bit. I find that it helps so that I don't get it on the eyelid when I'm applying it. But if you do get a little bit on the lid, make sure you just are ready with the Q-tip to go in and wipe it off. So what you can do next, if you want to put some on the bottom, you can go very lightly. And then I like to just kind of pinch it so it doesn't look like I have like a bunch of mascara on the bottom. You see, just go in and kind of, and then if you have like a brush, you can brush through them so that they look as natural as possible. I honestly don't even usually put anything on the bottom just because. I like to get my eyes to go up as much as possible. And I don't feel like I can carry it very well on the bottom. Now if it's a nighttime look and I'm going for something very dramatic, I will put it on the bottom, but I'm just going to clean up around here. You have to be careful you don't get anything in your eyes like I just did. So there you have it, a nice classic eye to kind of get you through the day and um, you can kind of play around with the products that you have and see what works for you. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, blush. 
So I have been loving to do a couple different things with blush. Um, so this is like, um, it's Markle Sparkle. So it's what Meghan Markle wears. Um, it just happened to be um, a color that looks really good on my skin tone too. So I like sweep all across and kind of go up. Staying above that contour line, you can kind of do a check mark. I'm not sure if anyone's shown you this before, but um, let me see here. What you can do is start out kind of on like the apples of your cheeks, go down a little bit, and then do a check mark going up. So it's down and up. And you only want to start out with a little bit of blush because um, you don't want to like overdo it. And I always like to do my blush last because um, once all of my other makeup's done, you can really see how much you need just to kind of give you that pop. If you don't feel like you want to use anything highlighted or shimmery, you can just go in with a regular blush that's got matteness to it, a little matte, or a cream. You can do that if you're using a cream. Um, Foundation, you just want to do that before you do any powders. And kind of go up. That gives that perfect little pop of color. Okay, last but not least is lip color. Every day I literally use something different depending on my mood and how I'm feeling. A lot of times if I want to just go for a neutral, but today I'm just going to use so this was definitely a splurge. This is the Clay de Peau um, one. It is the Radiant Liquid Rouge. I'm just going to use this on my lips just to give it some shine. And if you want to um, make your lips look a, bit, a little bit bigger, that never hurts. If you have like an upper um, lip that's bigger than your bottom or vice versa, you can always take in a little bit of a neutral um, I don't have one with me here. You can take a, a pencil that's more of your skin tone and just kind of cheat that by going outside of the lip a little bit. So I like to do the gloss or the lipstick first and then take the pencil and go in. Uh, at this point, you can do some powder if you need. Uh, I've been skipping the powder lately. I've just been going with the, um, the natural glow of it. If I do feel like I'm extra oily though, um, and if it's going to be a really long day, I will take a little powder and just kind of go in those areas that you know you're going to need it. And then you're good to go. So um, that took a little longer than I wanted it to, but usually I'm going super fast. And, um, and it doesn't take me that long at all. I uh, actually had it down to like a five-minute routine. So um, I hope that you guys can take some of these little tidbits and get re-inspired and incorporated into your everyday makeup look.